Hello everybody and welcome back to Beyond Galactic Science. So, at the end of the last episode, we'd actually got the story, didn't we? And if I remember, if I remember, remember rightly, this chest. I wanted to show you that as it was processing stuff and I forgot. But anyway, looks like we're getting a decent amount of redstone, glowstone. So that seems to be working much better now. And I'm not getting huge amounts of titanium, but a reasonable amount of iron, which is also rather nice. So... I have been playing with open computers. I asked the question on the forum how to, to get this to work. And I found a way. If you look at this chest here, I've got some water in it. 64 hydrogen and 32 oxygen. And then I've got another chest here, nothing in it. And that chest is attached underneath with an item duct here, connected to the synthesizer. So this synthesizer has got its recipe for two hydrogen and one oxygen, which produces water, of course. And here is the magic bit, is the transposer. And this is basically lets you transpose or move items from the chest. You can move items in fluid from the chest into the, into the synthesizer. But unfortunately, I can't get it to pull it out. Let me have a look at this. If I right click this with the Yeta wrench and just, just simply disable it for the time being so nothing will go in there I was hoping that we could actually do it by taking stuff out of the chest putting it into here I was hoping even be able to do the crafting recipe because these have got slot numbers and the slot numbers is one for water well this is the output one is one and then it goes two three four or up up to ten here and this is the eleventh slot so let's have a look at that on the on the computer here. I've probably already got stuff set up because I've been playing with it. But let's just do control and D to exit that and then do components. I can spell which I can't of course. And you'll see here it says transposer. So that's the device. So we go back and we start look the lure uh, interpreter again. And then we have a look at the uh, information for the transposer. We do equals you can actually press tab and it does actually fill in most of it for you and I'm not sure exactly what we could have done but we could have a transfer you see here just at the top we've got transfer item if we press say T and press uh, space my tab it tells you you've got transfer fluid transfer item and type so if you're not sure what the methods are you can press transfer item and remove the parentheses and press enter so you can see it's got a slot so what we want to do I wonder if I've got this it's still saved in there. No, I haven't. Good. So then I open up the parentheses here and I say, right, source side. Oh, we should put that in first of all. Let's have a look at that first of all. So I should, what I should go and do if I haven't got them with me, which I probably haven't actually. Let's have a look in here. Do I have any labels? No, I don't. Let's quickly go and get a label because to be honest with you, it's really hard to remember which is north and which is south. I've probably got some in. Here, yeah, nope. Yes, I've got two in here. That'll be fine. We only need two directions, really, don't we? So, so it's from the viewpoint of the transposer. So let's have a look. This chest is in this direction here. So if we press F3, we can see which direction that is. So that is north. So let's put a sign up here that says north, for example. Oops. I nearly got that right, didn't I? Okay. And this side over here is where the synthesizer is, which I can't reach that. So that is west. So let's go over here and put this side, a label saying west. Only four letters, I managed to get that one right. So what you can do here is, okay, let's go back onto this again and have a look at here. So we can say, the source side number. So we want to take it from the chest, which is north. So we can say sides north. And then the sink side, that was sides west. Then the number of items that we actually want to take out. So if we take out, say, hmm, let's take out four hydrogen. And then the source slot, which is going to be one. And then the 
destination slot or sync slot is going to be 11 and press enter and if I got that right it'll say true and I've got it wrong so let's go and just check what I've got everything right yes yeah, so well that's slot one so I needed slot two okay let's get them just correct that fortunately we can edit this line so now it's moved hopefully four hydrogen out of here like that so let's have a look so we've now got 60 that's correct and with a bit of luck these will now be in here in slot 1 or slot 11 that's great so next we can do the next thing so we can move the oxygen across so we need to do almost exactly the same I'm going to move it to slot 12 and we're going to say this is in the source slot 3 and that's true as well in fact I only really wanted to move two but never mind so now we've got four of those and four of those so what, how do we get this out of here? Well, that's actually slot one, so we can actually check that. I think it's got a get stack size or something like this. The actual wiki page for this has actually got no information in it at all. Fluid in tank, inventory size, slot max size, stack size, stack in slot. Okay, good. So we need the side slot uh, north, uh, west, isn't it? And then we want slot, slot one. So that's telling me I've got a minecraft molecule, which is water. So you'd expect to be able to take that out, wouldn't you? So let's try. What I was hoping to be able to do was to do this. So let's take this water out of here. So that would be west. We're doing the reverse direction. And we're going to put it into the north, which is the chest. I'd use variables for this. Oops, chest. <laughs> I would use variables for this to say which was which if I was writing a program. So we need this is it from slot. We need one from slot one, which is the water slot, and we're going to put this into slot. Oh uh, no, sorry, slot. Yeah, that's right. Into slot one, which is free, and it'll say false because it couldn't move it out. So that would have been that would have been this slot up here. As the, as the first slot but what you can do and this is actually makes it a little bit pointless in a way is you could take your yet edge here and I could basically connect that back up again like that and we should get into here two waters and then, then this should also be empty oh, I've got two, hydrogen, uh, two oxygen of course and I was also hoping that we could actually program these recipes so we could take this out of here like that but this doesn't work either. So actually let's prove that first of all. Let's just get an oxygen and put that into slot three. So basically in here, that's slot one, this is two and three. So if we put one oxygen in here like that, leave that in there, then that should be slot three. So let's just check what we actually got in there first of all. So let's go back to the get slot sides. So this is one of west, that's correct. And then we want slot three. And it should tell us you've got one, size one here at the bottom, oxygen as a label. And as a mind chem element. Okay. Fairly straightforward, really. So you then, be, let's do what we'd like to do, is to go back here and actually do the transfer. This time, we want to transfer back again from the chest to the synthesizer. We want to transfer two hydrogen, nearly got that right, from slot two in the chest to slot two in the synthesizer. But it's, oh, it did say true. Oh, well, that sounds a lot. Sure enough, it worked. Whoa, oh, that's good. So I can do that. So then if I just transfer, let's just do the same thing for oxygen and prove it actually worked because last time I did it, I got it wrong, it must be. So this time I want to do the same thing again, sides. We want one oxygen and we want from slot three in the chest to slot three 
in the synthesizer and they work too fantastic that means you can then basically as you see we've got one oxygen back in again so if we now move into here six hydrogen so if I remember rightly six hydrogen so we want six hydrogen and hydrogen are in slot two and they want to go into slot it doesn't actually matter where we can put them we could put them into slot 15 for example and that will have probably already processed and gone already out yes it's already gone out so now we've got five water so that's basically what you can do with this is that basically this then becomes just a simple program and of course you'd have to be a lot more smart about it so you'd have to basically check for this what the item is in here so for example let's have a look and do this this query again where have we got the get uh, stack size and size west in slot one that should be water okay and i think i'm not 100 percent sure about this so we could set a variable up for this so we could say um output okay and then we could see what out is i think you just do it like this dot label water and you can see how many you've got in there one and then of course you'd have to write your program so you check what's actually in the chest before maybe even search through the chest to find the items you want and put them into the right positions and that's actually really useful because with the fusion chamber let's go and have a quick look at that first of all while I'm going over there I should have some hydrogen I think it's over there already just check my turn off F3 I don't need that anymore ah the door refuses to open for some reason uh-huh I'm looking at this here you see all these le levers what's that saying XP gauge is zero that means it's not started up right and energy is 1000 that means that the game has not started correctly so I shall be back in a minute after I restarted the game I'll see you in a second right I'm back let's have a quick look and see whether or not those gauges actually show it correctly yes this time you can see they're not all flat down so we should be able to get out the door this time and just take cover that so right in here this unloaded bit there is a fusion reactor here we come and basically if I take a stack of hydrogen like two and then come along to this chemical synthesizer here I've got the recipe for uh, nether stars so what I can do I've got my chemist journal in, journal in here too that's I don't think it actually exists there and have a look at this you see I've got all sorts of recipes but for example it needs 256 helium now to make helium is actually I'll show you it's a stable one so we could actually see how much space we've got in here plenty so we need another six and we've got eight so to helium is basically just so hydrogen plus hydrogen or is it just two hydrogens Let's try it like oh tell you what let's do it the other way around since I have not done this for quite a long time and I've completely forgotten how to do it so helium so we want the chemical synthesizer that's decomposing shapeless crafting that's not the way to do it at all oh yes sorry I'm being an idiot you do it in here this thing so what you do is you put one stack in there one stack in there and this chemical fusion chamber fuses these two items together to give you helium 2 if you look at the recipe for this put that in again see that says hydrogen and it's parentheses beside it says one and this is also hydrogen and one but it comes out with two helium 2 so that's how you do it in fact I need 256 so I need another stack of hydrogen take that out that's 
4 times 64 is 256. So that's what you need for that. So actually, I didn't intend to do that today, but it doesn't matter very much. We can actually put these now into here. Remove the hydrogen. Oh, that's where the other that's where the other hydrogen went to, wasn't it? So let's go back to this book and open up that recipe again because we do everything in the fusion reactor. So we need 64 carbon, and this is cupenic cupenicium, I think it's pronounced, which is extremely radioactive. So you do that last. So 192 hydrogen is three stacks. Good old computers. If you didn't, if you didn't program, you'd you'd never realise this, would you? So let's get three stacks of that. Oops, I got four, didn't I? If I do it like this, and you see that's 128 plus 64. I hope is the right one. See, this is actually filling up again. It's actually 506 at the moment. So I've taken out quite a lot of it, so there we are. So let's go back to this book and see what else we need in here. 64 carbons, no big deal. And this one is 112. Now, let's have a look at how we do that. Because it's interesting and it's worthwhile doing. Oops, just opening the doors with a right click that I don't need to do. So carbon, I've got lots of it. In fact, here, I've basically got these carbon nan nanotubes, which each one of those takes six, four stacks of 64 or something outrageous. And in here, I should have plenty of carbon. So I can take a stack out of that, no problem whatsoever. In fact, you'll see the recipe for that's a chemical decomposer and somewhere I must have a chemical synthesizer to put this stuff together. I don't know where it is at the moment. It doesn't matter very much. That's its sole job is to take trees that are coming from the woods outside. In fact, that's all uh, jungle wood because that's the biggest farm. I'm putting it in there. The next thing we need is actually silicon, strangely enough. Now, silicon, here we go. We've got 74 stacks of silicon. And I think I need four stacks. If we actually have a look at this, you'll see that silicon's 14. Now, 2 times 14 is 28. And 2 times 28 is 56. And 2 times 56 is 112. So let's go and do that as well. But the last one we don't do until the very end. We actually, let's put the... So you've got other items in here which are already prepared, but that was for something else. So that's that one ingredient. So the last ingredient is this one. This one actually is quite expensive. So we get a nickel. Then we get barium, which is 56. And as we know, 256 is, I hope I got this right, if I haven't, you die very quickly are these so then I can put this into here like that Actually, I should put the book in as well and put this in here like that and then I can take out another star it says I've got 16 left I don't think that's the case if it is the case I have a bit of a problem 11 minutes that's okay so what we can do for that is go and put it this away in the chest I've got a lady chest inside I must have miscounted before I always used to make two nether stars at one go. So here's your leaded chest here. Just put it in there and then it'll be safely. Ah, I don't have it. It's just, it's just a buggy thing. But I did end up with one nether star. Phew. <laughs> I thought I got it right. <laughs> hmm. Right, okay. Enough of playing with radiation. We shall go and trundle off. And we shall go and trundle off to... Gallifrey, I think it's time to go to Gallifrey. Where should we put this? No, that's right. I've already got one somewhere about. There, let's put it up there. Now we've got two nether stars. And that's how I made those. Right, Gallifrey, let's go and do that. I've basically got about 10 minutes or so. I would like to go and do this. So let's just set this up first. Um, no, not first. Let's do one other job first. 
what I'm going to do is to um, assemble another landing pad. Because I know that in Gallifrey, at about position 000, or 0064, there is a the centre place of Gallifrey. So let's go and find a landing pad. I forgot what we need for this. Right, OK. Four crown store, three Dalek and one ingot, and one block of redstone. Did I miss something? Well, I missed something out. What have I missed out? Diamond, I thought so. So, I've got all the ingredients I need, so I should just press the question, question mark. Have I got that wrong? Do I need four? Oh, I haven't done any block of fruit. Let's turn that Yes. Right, that's it. In fact, I've actually got something on me, which is a component. And that was a, compo a component for the open computer stuff. I've already showed you can't make these things. I cheated these in, actually. Well, I didn't cheat those in. I cheated in the diamonds. Um, you can't get the little diamond things. Even though the recipe is there. Gallifrey, let's get on. Do Gallifrey first. So we'll bring over the screen over here. And we need to go back. It's difficult to see both at the same time. I wonder if I can reach like this. Yes, I can. Good. Asteroids over world. Spectral world. Gallifrey. Okay. And I don't care about where we're going to land. So we're going to use the landing pad to bring ourselves into the to the right place. Get this. Actually, let's get this on this side here. Then I can see it from here as well. Well, that was pretty fast. So all sides are fa um, safe and it's 4.30 in the morning, oops, I do that often, so we can quickly go outside here and have a look and see what we can see. This will take a while to load in the terrain, woo, ah yes, I don't think it's supposed to be blue, let's just take that off, yes, night vision goggles. I shall wait for the TARDIS to shut up. With night vision goggles, everything appears blue. And this is just dirt. And I don't think it's got any uses at all. So, Gallifrey dirt. As if it's only got uses at all. I can't see any uses for that by pressing U on the keyboard. So, let's go and have a look. Where are we? Let's press F3. So they're about the right position, so we want to go... Oh, we're not too far away from the centre, actually. So we need 192 in the Z direction. So we want to go to zero. And the central place of Gallifrey should be about zero. So let's have a look. It's got water pools. Lots of... I reckon these are all silky leaves, aren't they? If we've got anything useful with this, we can actually have a look. So I have got some if particle effects, which I probably shouldn't have. So have a look at what we're seeing on here. Speed, strength, and haste. Oh, I think the particle effects are just not minimised when you land on a different planet. Well, not Gallifrey's a planet, because it uh, doesn't really exist. Well, somewhere like zero 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 should be the place. Let's go and have a little fly up and see if we can see anything around about here. No, I don't see anything at all. What's this down here? It looks a bit strange. I just ought to, ought to block. 
Oh, just not rendered in. Let me turn that thing off, see if you can see anything different. Tell you what I'll do, I'll do a quick pause and see or not if I can find out anything about Gallifrey where we have to go to. So just hold on a second. Right, 380, 178 is supposed to be the Citadel, so let's go and have a quick look at that. So 380, now I've lost my bearings here, so let's go. 380 and 178 should be over here somewhere. Oh, here we are. One suitable. How about that? Doesn't that look interesting? Seems to have an entrance, which we can sort of land on, which is nice. There we go. So this is the Gallifrey Citadel. Wow, this is rather interesting. Is that blocks of iron. Wow, that's a good source of iron. And here's an iron door. Let's have a look, see if we can get inside this. Have I got anything useful with me at all today? Maybe I can make a button if I've got anything else. I think I would use normally use a stone button, but I don't have a stone. We can bring the target over here. Let's, let's do that, actually. So I'll just dig down one block here. Oh, that's a bit of a hole. And then we shall put the landing pad here like this. Get that sonic screwdriver and get it into recall mode. So the TARDIS inbound should land here. Takes a few seconds to land. So can remove the take that out of my hand it's a bit dangerous so let's go and get a lever i like levers best because i don't have to try and fight my way to them so what we need is a stick actually i'm a bird can't i could have made that myself without having to come back in here no oh well you miss the obvious sometimes right but anyway it's not bad to have the tardis back right where you need it So where was that doorway? Here we go. Wow. Close stone block and a very big, very tall chamber full of iron blocks. Well, no shortage of iron anymore. And a close stone block with what's underneath that. And let me get rid of this uh, deep I don't need anymore. Red stained clay. So that's that one, and there's a great big long tall ladder. Where's that gone to? Let's go up here. Oh, now we've got three gold pressure plates. Let's hope that they don't do anything nasty to us. Uh-huh. I can't get through there. That's interesting. Maybe there's a way to... Oh, well, yeah, pretty obvious, really, isn't it? Let's go back and to my bag here and get some more cobble out. Because if they got those, then we can simply put on those at a lever. The day of the levers today, isn't it, by the looks of it? So let's put a lever down, say, here. Nope. Here. I can't do that anymore, can I? Let's try here. Didn't work neither. Maybe, maybe I can't do it. Thought it would hope for send the redstone signal into this block. I can break it, of course. That's the other option. Oh, the pistons were at the top. They should have actually then worked. Because they're sticky pistons, so why didn't they work? Let's have a look. They're not working in that block, are they? I would have thought that would have worked that way side, but we'll try it the other side. 
No, they're not going up or down. So for the sake of it, well, I don't see much point in going through here, to be honest with you. What do we see? Anything of any interest at all? Not really. Just some more doorways, which should really open up. Nope. Let's have a look through here. What do we see in here? Oh, more interesting. Some diamond blocks, no less. And what is this thing? A block of coal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Another passageway into another room with no label on it and a stairway up. A very long stairway. A very, very long stairway. What do we get to when we get to the top here? Hopefully we get something interesting worth all this effort. Oh, wow. Well. Some leather brick fences, some more glowstone. And outside on the top of the citadel, which we cannot, we're so far away, we can't see anything. Oh, we can go down here. I thought it was a drop. It doesn't really matter, does it? I've got a suit, I've got a flight, so it's pretty impressive. So we can survey the world from up here. But I'm going to go back the way I came. And I'm going to put everything back as I found it. Because I don't really need the iron, to be honest with you. But I do need some food. While we're going down the ladders, we can eat. You can't even jump off because it's just a space, isn't it? And down these steps to the diamond blocks. They might be worth having, mightn't they? I'll leave them though. Gold pressure plates. Well, they actually did work that time, but uh, we'll put these two blocks back here. Leave it as we found it. Well, it won't work because they're not sticky pistons, will they? Yeah. And there we are. Right. That's it for today, I reckon. My goodness, this place is impressive, though. As you can see, that tower was massive. And I guess this is another one of these. Let's have a look. Got any more? Yeah, got some more sticks. Let's make another. Let's have, I don't think there's going to be anything else in here. Any difference from what we've seen already? I'll have a quick look. Make another lever. Oops. Messing around a bit there. Sorry about that. Yeah, it looks the same. It's got a, some redstone clay and a, another gold block. Should be able to get fairly fast up here. If there's anything here of any interest at all, except for so much steel I have never seen in my life before. So we'll just drop down. So I guess that's it. Just a number of these enormous towers. So we must spend quite a bit of time putting all the slot together. And some more pressure pads, which don't work. But I'm not going to investigate why. There must be some redstone wiring underneath that that isn't working. So, I think, let's go back the quick way now. See now, you see, that was a different one. If we remember that, that was locate. So you right click that and it gives you the location of the of the TARDIS. You don't get that when you're when you're inside. But that's a quick way to take you there. Wow. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, 
where I'm going to go and do some, don't know what really, we'll find out. Till then, bye for now.